Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. It is October the 20th. And I can't believe that this whole month is coming near to a close and living up here in Northern Ontario on a lake deep in the woods where it's so peaceful and quiet is always the perfect location to do a fall detox and to really cleanse. And I know, yes, I'm sticking my hand up here that I am genuinely guilty of indulging just a little bit too much over the summer. And actually for myself, I'm going to admit it's even been during the whole COVID lockdown, which I know we are essentially out of right now. And a lot of things are getting back to normal. However, my little belly is telling me that I indulge too much. And you know what? That's okay. Because as a certified health coach now for over 14 years, I have really stepped into allowing myself to live that 20 to 80% balance rule, which kind of gives me the permission to eat a lot of the great foods that I love because I just love to spend so much time in my kitchen. And that's actually how I express love to people. And also something I uncovered as I learned more about stepping into my destiny when I became a certified astrologer during COVID and started studying other people's birth charts as well. So I love to empower so many people by sharing some very basic pieces of specific information from someone's birth chart that gives them permission to just really essentially spend more time doing what they love to do. And for me, that is in my kitchen and to really remind myself to implement different ingredients that are more natural. They're a little bit healthier, but what I haven't been doing is to really give myself time to do a full cleanse. So this is a wonderful book. I'm going to share with everyone. I have a couple of books on cleansing, and this was a book that I actually sold when I had my brick and mortar business in Bell Fountain, Ontario. And the business was called Tamron Centers for Wellbeing, where people could come in and we would hand prepare all the raw vegan cleansing foods so that you could take it home. We didn't have a seating area. And I was also working with clients privately because I had been a certified health coach, but I was more interested in supporting clients through the emotional healing process. So working with Bach flower essences, I became a certified practitioner and also then switching over to implementing the same knowledge by using essential oils. And my brand of choice is of course the Cadillac of essential oils. And I love to teach people how to start using doTERRA essential oil products to really help with the mind, body, spirit connection and cleansing and moving into well-being. So with that being said, I used to sell a lot of books because I'm a nerd. And even I recognize this in my own astrological birth chart where I always have to be studying something and also I have to be teaching. So even though I'm working from home and still running classes and courses, working with clients, connecting with people, and also studying to enhance my own business, I've carved out time in my day to make sure that I'm going to cleanse properly. And I'm going to show with you, show you exactly what it is that I have done to make sure that I line myself up for success, which means I am already starting to cleanse and to prepare my body. So this is a glass jar that I've reused. And I've already made the master cleanse ingredients from the specific things that need to go in so that I can start drinking this throughout the day. And rather than thinking about what I'm not having or what I'm not allowing my health, I don't want to feel deprived at all. And so I've told myself what it is that I'm going to implement and enhance my diet or what it is that I'm going to be eating so that by Tuesday, I'm going to start the full cleanse where I'll just be drinking this for about five days and, and portioning it out. Now, a lot of people are like, what? 
correct. Well, the truth is, if you read this book and you read from some experts, you are getting the nutrition that your body can absorb based on the ingredients that is put in here. So I'm going to show you my little, my little, um, my little, uh, my little bowl here. So I'll show you which ingredients I've used. But again, if you're prepared and you make your items ahead of time, it's going to line you up so that you're not running to the kitchen, even though you're still trying to work or work from home, because you can actually take this to work with you. And I was just recently traveling through Southern Ontario, having meetings with people, spending some time with family and friends. And you know what? I had this with me and no one knew I didn't have to make big deal about it, but I had it in my little travel mug and I would fill this up. And then I would drink it throughout the day. So people thought I was sipping on coffee or tea or whatever. No, I was actually cleansing and starting to prepare my body. So what's act, what are the ingredients that are involved? Well, it's pretty simple. But again, if you give yourself permission to buy organic ingredients, again, there's more nutritional value jam-packed in some of these ingredients and your body is going to get a completely different experience. And I know sometimes with the cost of food prices going through the roof by now, you might say, I can't afford organic. But really, the ingredients that you need for this specific cleanse, if you're doing a cleanse, is to remind yourself that you might only be spending an extra couple of dollars a day or maybe a dollar a day. So here we go. I grab my organic lemons, right? Make sure the label says organic and that it starts if they're individually priced or stamped, make sure that the digit starts with a nine so that you make sure that it's an organic produce. I've got my organic cayenne. Again, I keep these sealed in a dark place in a cabinet up top there. That's my little magic woo-woo apothecary here inside my kitchen. And I've got some dark, pure maple syrup. Now, organic maple syrup, it comes from the ground. It is organic, people, unless you're in an area where the uh, maple trees are heavily sprayed, which is usually in the woods. So people don't usually spray toxins in the woods. So get your uh, dark maple syrup and, of course, some fresh water. Now, I purchase spring water up here. We have a local company that actually delivers as well. So I use that. And those are the four ingredients that are inside of my cleanse. So again, this is one of the books that I've used. It's very informative. And if you've never done a cleanse before or you haven't done a cleanse and you're thinking about a cleanse, let me know in the comments below. It's a perfect time because I'm starting, I'm gonna do this for a good solid five days, starting on Tuesday, so that by Saturday on the full moon, which is gonna be part of the lunar eclipse, is that my body is gonna align with the cleansing full moon energy of that full moon by Saturday. So again, detoxing, cleansing, connecting to the detoxifying energy of the moon is powerful. And usually it takes a good five days. At least I know from my own body that by day five, I'm feeling the effects of the cleanse and the herbs and the nutrients that I'm putting into my body to align with that powerful astrological energy that is being created in the sky. So let me know, are you cleansing? What are you doing? Have you ever done a cleanse before? Does anybody do the master cleanse? If so, let not, or if let me know. I just want to see who's doing this because it really is the perfect time. If you've been thinking about one, then I'm going to encourage you to do it. And just let me know in the comments below for, just for some emotional support. So thanks for listening. Really um, use this cleansing energy somehow. Uh, you know, with this full moon happening next weekend, which is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And of course, I'll be going through my house as well, looking at some things that I'm not using and decide if I'm going to donate. I might even, you know, let go of something old so something new can come in. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to step into this energy as well. And it's just such a beautiful time of year where we can be outside and connect with nature and connect with the oranges and the reds that are happening in this fall energy here in northern Ontario and to really appreciate Mother Earth because this really is 
a wonderful time of year as we embrace it before the snow starts to fly pretty soon. So again, let me know, what are you doing? What plans do you have? Or is there something you're ready to start implementing now that you're understanding the astrological energies and this full moon cleanse detox lunar eclipse that is happening on Saturday, the 28th. Cheers for now, everyone. Bye-bye.